And we're ready for action here from Tillamook High School where the Cheesemakers take on the Seaside Seagulls. Uh, good crowd on hand as uh, people still coming in for tonight's early start, a 7 o'clock start here, or shortly after, from Tillamook High School. Pretty close to it. You talk about the fans coming in. I'm really impressed with the amount of fans that showed up from Seaside tonight. You know, it's only a 50-mile trip, but that's a lot of school support they're showing for their ball club. It definitely is, and they would all <laughs> love nothing better than to see another upset like they saw up there not too long ago in Seaside. The first meeting of these two teams here in Tillamook. Tillamook won at 66 to 54 and it wasn't really that close. In the center, Kenny Polo and Christian Starling. Ball's in the air, controlled by Seaside on the right sideline by Bill Westerholm. Westerholm dribbles left-handed out the top of the key to set it up. A 1-4 high offense set up on the right wing. Medal baseline right to Clark. Clark's the guy they got to look for. Medal pulls up from three and hits it. Medal, nothing but net from the three-point error on the right wing. Gets the first bucket of the night. Warner in backcourt into Hopper. Hopper, step fake, looks, cross-court pass to Greg. Greg manages high on both legs. Lob pass to Matt, right side Kenny, back out to Greg. Three-pointer on the way. It rattles around but doesn't go, and the rebound comes off to Smith. Smith to Medal, long cross-court pass, tipped away, off Matt's hands out of bounds. Going to be a seaside ball underneath their own bucket. Clark to bring it in, holds four fingers in the air, 2-3 defense put on, Medal left wing, top of the key to Westerholm. Back to Clark, back out to Westerholm, top of the key. Westerholm works around the horn, a man-to-man -man defense put on there by the Cheesemakers. Right wing, Medal. It's actually a matchup zone, right baseline Clark, back to Medal, ice from three, kicks it over, Westerholm, three-pointer on the way. It doesn't go, rebound off to Matt Groshaw. Matt, outlet to Hopper, Medal with his hands on him. Hoffert brings down the floor, drives inside, jumps it on the way. He's hacked, no call, it goes short. Ball goes off, Starling out of bounds, and Tillamook gets the ball underneath their own bucket. Medal playing a hands-on type of defense, and that's a defense he'll play all night as long as they let him get by with it. Warner left wing to Medal to Hoffert, top of the key. Left to Warner, back out to Medal, top of the key to Polo. Polo, step fake, crossover, kicks it out to Mark. Three-pointer on the way for Mark. Doesn't go. Rebound comes off to Smith. Outlet left to Westerholm. He's going to hold it up at midcourt and set up the goal offense. Has it tipped away. Werner almost comes up with it. Westerholm gets it back. Right baseline to Medal. Drives. Fake. Step. Fake. Whistle. Foul is going to be on Matt Crochon. Should be before the shot. We'll see what they call. Should be way before the shot, but Matt just missed out on the old fundamental rule. You just don't leave your feet. And now they're trying to decide whether he was shooting or not. That was way before the shot attempt. There shouldn't be any shot. Uh, they're going to line it up. I just don't understand that because that was way before he even made a move to the hoop. It was a nice head take along the baseline. And they will as Medal goes to the line to shoot two. Uh, questionable call there to say the least as uh, Medal did a good job drawing the foul but never did really release the shot. And all the same, he has all four points for the goal and the Seagulls lead is four to zero. In both of the previous games between these two teams, Seaside has held the early lead. The first game, Tillamook overcame it. In the second game, uh, they were not able to in the long run. Backcourt, Werner with the ball. Both free throws are made. It's 5-0, to zero. Seaside over Tillamook. Top of the key, Polo. Three-pointers on the way from there. Doesn't go. Rebound comes off to Smith again. Smith pulling down his third board of the night. Right wing to Medal. Threw his legs, lose control. Has it tipped away, but picks it up again. Werner gets it away, but Smith picks it back up. A little loose ball action top of the key, and Clark finally comes down with it. Clark uh, travels, no call, top of the key to Westerholm. Back to Clark, left wing, long pass inside to Smith. Fakes, drives baseline, double team down there. Werner, whistle, jump ball. Alternating possession will go to the cheesemaker, so Werner forces the turnover, and Tillamook gets the ball in back court. A 2-1, 2-2, full court press put on. Now Seaside drops out of it as Medal all over Hoffer. Left baseline, Matt Grosson. Top of the key to Werner. Werner, step fake, looks left for Son. Three-pointers on the way from there. Good. Nothing but net for Son Hoffer to Tillman. Breaks the ice off the bucket and trails 5-3. to three. Inbound pass by Clark. Clark cross timeline, left-handed dribble. Three-point line left, Westerholm on the way. Doesn't go, rebound, Matt Grosson with authority. Out left to Hopper on the left wing. Puts left to right. Three-point line. Moves inside. Jumps it on the way. It doesn't go. Whistle foul. Offense. 
Colin Hopper called with the offensive foul, and uh, you've got to expect that, I guess, <laughs> one way or the other. It was a tough call for me to see. I had a Seaside fan over here looking over my shoulder wondering what we were doing here with all this, this paper. <laughs> Apparently they don't use paper up there. I guess not, so I didn't have a chance to add any color to that last play. Westerholm in backcourt, back to Clark. Clark left-handed dribble. There's a lot, a lot of bumping going on outside. Werner with the reach. Let's goes Medow left wing. Paulo all over him. Back to Clark. Clark, top of the key to Westerholm as they set up the offense. Tillamook uh, matching up uh, specifically, switching a lot. Starling turnaround jumper, zone ball. Not even close. Partially checked in there by Groshong. Hoppert with the ball on the right wing. Step fake, look. Base line kicks it out to Paulo, top of the key. Left side to Warner. Warner looking for the cutter inside, right to Matt. Baseline to Polo. Three pointers on the way. Yeah. No, two points. They say he was on the line. It might have been. And we're all tied up at five apiece. Clark end to end, drives it inside, throws it up. It doesn't go, but he's fouled. Looks like Mark must have picked that one up. Either Mark or Matt. Mark. It will be Mark. Uh, the Twin Towers each have a foul apiece. Not in foul trouble yet, and uh, one other person has a foul for the seed maker. Sean picked up the offensive foul. Sean offered on the offensive. Matt Clark goes to the line to shoot one and one. Excuse me, two. His first one's good, as it makes no difference. And it's a six to five seaside lead. Offensive fouls don't count as team fouls anymore. I know they did. I think they do now. They must so now because they've got three, three on the three on the board. Free throws on the way. It's good also by Clark. And it's a 7-5 Seaside lead. Paulo in backcourt. Crosscourt goes to Werner. Seaside will let Tillamook bring the ball down. Matt jumper from 10 left. Doesn't go. Rebound uh, Clark. There's a whistle and a foul. Uh, Mark on the rebound. And Starling's whistled for the foul over the back. That's the first foul on the Seagulls. And the Cheesemakers will bring the ball in underneath their own bucket. Into the ball game for the Seagulls will come Jared Boyd. Boyd, a 6'2 junior. Uh, four seniors listed on the Seaside roster. That's Camberg who, and Darnell, who we have not seen, and Westerholm and Starling. Hoffert drives inside, jumps it on the way. Doesn't go, but he's fouled. Nice job drawing the foul against Boyd as Boyd picked up the foul. And to the line will go Sean Hoffert to shoot two. Sean's got three points on the night. He's one out of one from the three-point area. He missed his one field goal attempt in the two-point area. Don dribbles low at the line, ball's in the air, it's good. Don hits his first free throw, he can tie it up with the second one in a, a tight first period of play here between these two ball clubs, fighting for the top seed out of the Coapa League. Second free throw is missed, it's a seven to six, Seaside lead. Clark almost losing backcourt, finally brings it across the timeline, hands to Westerholm. Westerholm with the ball, clear out of midcourt, beats right to Medell. Medell back to Westerholm, looking left for Clark. No dribble there, dribbles left side, drives inside, kicks the baseline to Boyd. Back out to Clark, defense good there by Warner. Lob pass inside to Smith, turn around, hook shot on the way. Go, oh, go, oh, what a tough shot, and it stayed. On the inside, Hoffert on the other end, tips it off his toe and out of bounds. Tillamook turns the ball over for the second time, and Seaside will get the ball back. Tillamook wants timeout with timeout on the floor. Tillamook trails 9-6. to six. We'll be Today by coming to any U.S. bank, U bank machine. There are over 250 automatic teller machines at U.S. banks and selected retail outlets around the Northwest. U.S. Bank is a member of the Exchange, Excel, and Plus Automatic Teller Machine Networks, providing you cash at over 18,000 locations in 47 states. U.S. Bank, serving Tillamook, Manzanita, Rockaway Beach, and Cloverdale, member FDIC. Welcome back to Tillamook High School. Seaside almost turns the ball over, but now Warner finally picks it off in backcourt. Lead pass to Hoffert. Bounce pass back to Warner on the save. Going to drive inside. Baseline right to Mark. Fake. Jumper on the way from 10. Good. Mark Groshong pulls Tillamook back to within one. Westerholm in backcourt. Tight defense there by Warner. Warner chasing down the floor, down the right wing. Double dribble. Tillamook comes out with some defensive pressure here early in the four minutes left in the first period. And Seaside turns the ball over for the fourth time. Backcourt. Warner with the ball left side to Paulo. Steps, crossover at three-point line to Warner, top of the key. Step fake there, he's going to move right side. Fake, going to drive baseline all the way through the key, kicks it out to Mark, just inside the three. It's not going to go, rebound loose, going to go off C side, out of bounds, going to be Tillamook's ball. Mark pumped up an 18-footer, but it went 19 feet, and the Seaside fans can't air ball on the right side. Werner with the ball on the right wing, looking cross-court, goes right to Sean Hoffert. Sean takes it inside, going to step drive, 
Crossover, can't get anything, kicks it out to Warner. He's going to drive the lane, crossover step, has the ball tipped away, saved back inbounds, and picked off there by Jared Boyd. Boyd comes up with it, hands out left to Medow. Medow sets it up with Westerholm at the point guard. Right to Medow. Medow with the ball. Inside, high post to Clark, and a drive, jumps it on the way and in. Clark's the guy that you want to keep the ball out of his hands because he'll put points on the board in a hurry, and Seaside leads 11 to 8. Werner, top of the key, goes left to Matt, kicks it back out to Greg. Step fake, top of the key to Kenny. Polo going to drive inside, jumper from 15, good. Oh, off balance shot, it was a prayer and it fell, and Telemic draws to within one again. Westerholm in backcourt against the soft 2 on 2 full court press put on now by the cheesemakers. Clark cross the court pass to Medow, baseline right to Boyd, step fake and a drive baseline, step close out of bounds, throws it up, not even close, Polo with the board. Polo outlet to Hopper, Hopper's going to push the ball, left side to Matt, jumper from 10, yes! Matt Groshon, baseline left from 10, hits it and gives Tillamook the lead at 12 to 11. Westerholm backcourt goes to Clark, left-handed dribble down the left sideline, behind his back, finally crosses the timeline. Baseline left to Smith, looks, tips it away by Matt, he saves it back in bounds, they're going to say it hits the sideline. Good hustle down there by Matt Groshon. The Twin Towers are doing a real good job inside on the defensive board. You know, that's a crucial ball game from it for them. It's probably the first real big game of their young careers. The first playoff game for the twin sophomores on the inside, and they're up to the task so far. Medow threw his legs, top of the key, jumper on the way, doesn't go, rebound Kenny Paulo. Paulo tries to down that pass, goes to Mark. Mark right side to Greg, three-pointer on the way, good! A little mixed up on the break there, but when you come out with three points, you can't complain, and the cheesemakers lead 15 to 11. Clark, jumper inside, whistle foul, Matt Groshong. Not a good foul by Matt that time as Clark had released the ball already, came up, gave him a slap, and picked up the foul, and Matt picks up foul number two, a foul I'm sure he'd like to have back. Most definitely, he just went after a shot he should not have gone after. I don't see Eric Moore coming off the bench, so Coach Lamb will be taking up slight risk there, keeping him in there with two personal fouls. Clark, free throw on the way, left-handed, it falls. Clark, an excellent shooter, without a doubt. He had 29 points in the uh, playoff game, really the big game for the Seagulls, the game that tells you whether you're going to the state tournament at all or not. That was on Saturday night, as Matt Crochon now comes out of the ball game, and Eric Moore checks in. And Matt was too happy as he came Matt, to the sideline, so he wanted a little more playing time. Not a happy camper. <laughs> Second free throw is good also. Telemach's lead is cut to two. Hoffert in backcourt. Goes to Werner on the right wing. He's still in backcourt. Hands on defense. Got to get him off. It's Clark with the hands all over. Gets by with it. Baseline pass to Mark. He's ridden out of the play and finally hacked, and they're letting it go crazy on the floor right there. But with the foul will go Boyd on the turnaround jump shot by Mark Rochon. Mark came down with the ball. Uh, Boyd gave him a shove, moved him about three feet. Mark turned around, put it up, said, take that. And Boyd hacked him on the arm with a tomahawk shot again and he'll go to the line to shoot too. Well, you almost have to wonder, you know, with the physical scene of this game so far, maybe these officials are out of a, a college association, some sort of like junior college officials. It's been a lot like that. Officiated uh, like a college game is many times. Mark hits the front end of the, of the two-shot foul. He'll get the second one. It's in the air. It's good. And Tillich leads 17 to 13, 111 left here in the first period. A good period of basketball here in Tillamook. High post tipped away, Werner comes up with it. Werner, whistle, foul! Oh no, he's going traveling! Werner picks the ball up. He's pushed with two hands from the back, and the call is traveling. Well, that won't be the last call these guys missed tonight, I guarantee you that. I think he needs a new pair of glasses on that one, and they got fogged up from the heat in here as Tillamook lost it on that call. Pass inside, picked off by Eric Moore. Outlet left to Hoffert. Hoffert, left-handed dribble, moves hash mark left, step drive. Fakes it, jumps inside, good! Leaning, leaper on the middle, and he picks up two, and Tillamook leads 19 to 13. Werner tips the ball away in backcourt. Seaside wants timeout with 42 seconds left in the first period of play. Tillamook leads 19 to 13. We'll be back after this. For is at value. Get your XA4s at Tillamook Tire at 2108 11th Street in Tillamook. Mission. In the final three and a half minutes. Well, Sean Hopper took it to the Seaside fans and showed their usual coolness by booing him the last time he touched the ball and he just took it right in there and put it down for two that quiet him up yeah, it was a pretty shot too as he was bumped on the inside and just hung in the air for the longest time and then 
touched it up and down with the greatest of ease, and Tillamook leads by six, their largest lead of the ball game. Back court, Clark to bring it in, hands to Medow in the right corner, still in back court, right-handed dribble, cross court goes to Westerholm. Westerholm across the timeline, goes right baseline to Smith. Baseline pass, gets away, Paulo comes up with it. Hands out to Hopper. Hopper with 30 seconds, bounce pass right, sails it, and it goes to the wall. Tillamook turns the ball over for the fifth time here in this first, first period of play. Tillamook with 28 seconds left in the first period. Westerholm travels at midcourt. He stepped right side, now he throws the ball to the end line. In fact, off the wall in a bit of temper down there. And Tillamook gets the ball back. Tillamook will, I'm sure, look for the final shot here of the first period as they're under that magic 30-second mark with 25 left in the period. Werner, top of the key. Look, he moves inside, top of the key. Hands right to Hoffert. Hoffert with 17 seconds left. Madow again with a hands-on defense. Goes to Polo with 10 seconds left on the left wing. Polo. Baseline pass. Mark jumper. Doesn't go. Rebound Madow with five seconds. Madow in backcourt with three, two. Hands, he's not even going to know. He does throw it up. It's off the back iron. No good. That's the end of the first period. Tillamook leads 19 to... Classic. Welcome back to Tillamook High School. Randy Shield and Brian Bowder with you here. The Cheesemakers lead it 19 to 13 to start the second period of play. End of the ball game, Nan Motzinger for the Cheesemakers, replacing Greg Warner. Inside jump hook, doesn't go, rebound loose. Chase down Motzinger in the corner. Backcourt, he's guarded tightly by Clark. He hands off to Paulo. Paulo still in backcourt. They're going to have to hurry it to get it across the timeline. They give it to Hopper, and he does. Hands on defense again by Madow. Madow's all over Hopper. Hopper gives him a push back to get rid of him. Top of the key goes to Moore, right side to Mark. Step fake, looks, looks. Top of the key to Motzinger. Motzinger against Westerholm, right to follow. Step fake, jump run away from 17. Doesn't go. Rebound loose, comes off, still loose on the floor, comes up to Westerholm. Westerholm pushes the ball down the right wing. He moves inside top of the key, kicks back to Madow. Three-pointer on the way. Doesn't go. Rebound Mark Rochon. Nice board by Mark. Outlet to Hopper at midcourt. Going to walk the ball down the left sideline. Through his legs, top of the key to Paulo. Three-pointer on the way. Doesn't go. Rebound right to Westerholm. Kellamuk missed the first two shots of the fun second period of play here as they run it down the floor and put it up but can't get it to fall. High post Smith back to Westerholm. Three-pointer on the way. Doesn't go. Rebound chased down in the corner by Paulo. Saved to Motzinger. Motzinger undercut there. Lead pass to Moore. Moore on the right wing, bounce pass left to Mark. Lose control, picked off there by Clark. Still a good opportunity, just couldn't get it to fall. Clark drives baseline, cut off, whistle foul, Hopper. And I don't like to reiterate the fact that uh, there's been some questionable calls, but it's, of all the stuff that they've let go, to call that is really a questionable call. Very, very inconsistent call so far. It's just totally unreasonable from what we've seen so far. Clark will go to the line. Clark, an excellent free throw shooter. Been there four times tonight. Collected all four of those. His free throw's up. First one and good. As he picks up yet another one. He has seven points in the ball game until McFleet has cut to five. First period stats, Brent. Cheesemaker, seven out of 14 from the field, 50%. Seaside, three out of nine at 33%. Tillamook had seven boards compared to five. Clark hits his second free throw also, and it's a 19 to 15 Tillamook lead here. 6.30 left in the second period of play. Motzinger right side goes Clark top key left to Hopper. Hopper's going to step Drake drives inside jumps it on the way it doesn't go but he's fouled and they finally get a call down there as Hopper gets pushed all over the place if you're in this building with the uh, earphones on just keep an eye on that situation between Hopper and Madow as Madow uh, molesting Hopper on the outside right now the foul that time is going to be picked up with Craig Camberg, and Hopper goes to the line to shoot two. And at the same time that you're concentrating on that situation, why don't you get up on your hands and on your feet and yell at the official for Randy and myself, but we have to be somewhat uh, respectful up here in the crow's nest. Sitting here in the KDIL uh, station up here, we won't be too vocal. Hopper hits both free throws, Kelvick leads by six again. Back court, Camberg with the ball. Tight defense there by Motzinger. Looks left, goes left to Clark, and he brings it across the timeline. Moves inside, left-handed dribble, forces it right to Hopper. Hands back to Westerholm. Westerholm, top of the key in a matchup zone uh, defense put on by the Cheesemakers. Westerholm eyes from three, drives inside, lays it up and in. 
Bound to door as Motzinger one step late there, not expecting the drive, and Westerholm picked up the point, and Tillamook's lead has cut to four. Hoffert pulls up from three, and good. Hoffert dumps it from three, and Tillamook's lead now is to seven. Right side, Camberg with the ball, going to drive down the middle of the key, lays it up, checked there by Mark, and a great check, but I believe the foul will be called on Motzinger. We'll see who they call that one on. Uh, I certainly hope, no, they call it on Mark. Oh, the official was way out of position in that call, and there's just no way. Boy, it sure looked like a great check from here. Uh, it uh, looked like Motzinger might have got some body, but uh, either way, Mark goes to the bench with two fouls, and to the line will go Camberg to shoot two. Free throws on the way, barely gets any iron. He misses that one, and Telemix lead is still seven. He eyes for the second free throw. Ball's in the air. It's good. And the lead is 24 to 18. Tillamook by six over the Seagulls with 5.39 left in the first half. Into the ball game now will come Todd Darnell. Darnell, he can get up and down the floor in a big hurry as he checks in for Camberg. Madow and Camberg, or excuse me, Darnell and Camberg both giving Madow a break. Hoffert working against Darnell, goes right side to Matt, baseline to Motzinger, jumper from 10, doesn't go, rebound comes off to Boyd. Boyd with the ball goes right wing to Darnell, left-handed dribble, brings it down the floor, left to Westerholm. Westerholm moves, goes to the top of the key, through his legs, looks left, goes left to Darnell. Darnell going to drive inside behind his back. He fakes, kicks it out. Westerholm, three-pointer on the way. Not going to be good from there, but Boyd gets the offensive board. Boyd, cross-court pass to Clark. Going to drive inside. Tight defense there. Lob pass to Smith. He forces it up. Whistle foul. Good call. Offensively goes against Smith. And Smith's a tight defense there by Eric Moore. Turn, gave him a good forearm and threw the ball up. And the offensive foul is called, and that's the first break the cheesemakers have gotten all night. Excellent defense, like you say, by Eric Moore. Motzinger, top of the key, goes right to Paulo. Paulo with the ball, top of the key to Hoffer. Playing against Darnell. Step fake, steps again, looks inside. He's hacked, goes top of the key to Motzinger, drives it up, throws, couldn't get it. Whistle foul is going to be called, pushing him out. I believe will be Westerholm, <laughs> and I don't know about that. As uh, Motzinger looked like he just lost his feet on the drive, and... Uh, it will be on Westerholm as it's administered over here on the side. So Westerholm picks up the foul. Now they list 45 on the board. I believe that was actually 25, and now they change it as Westerholm picks up his first personal foul. Into the ball game comes Greg Werner to replace Sean Hawker. Uh, Greg Werner tries to come into the ball game and takes the official three haunts on the horn to <laughs> catch what's going on over there. Motzinger, two free throws. First one's up and short. Selma's lead is still six, 24 to 18. One of Bob's worries about the Seagulls is they have about 10 people who can play, and Selma's depth has been a problem this year. Second free throw is good by Dan. He gets one out of two and steals the inbound pass. Right side, Paulo lay in two. Paulo dumped on his feet after the shot, but the bucket goes, and Tillamook leads the largest of the night at nine. Good hustle that time by Dan Motzinger. Left side, Darnell brings down the floor, top of the key. Left-handed dribble working against Werner, gives Werner the elbow. Looks inside, goes right to Westerholm. Westerholm with the ball. High post goes to Darnell. Turn around, jump around the way. Good. Oh, nice shot by Darnell. Count the bucket, and the foul is called on Boyd. No, they're going to say it's on Tillamook. Who are they going to give that one to? Motzinger called for the foul, pushing out, and the shot goes, it counts, and we're in the one-on-one. -on -one. It could be a four-point trip down the floor for the Seagulls. Well, the biggest thing I noticed about that play was the cheap elbow that Todd Darnell kept throwing out towards Greg Werner. The official's got to call that, otherwise this game's going to really escalate to a brawl. Top of the key here, the free throw's on the way. It's no good. He stepped on the line. A little make-up to make-up there, and uh, Telemuk will get the ball out on the far side. Bring the ball in, it's Kenny Paulo. He hands back to Motzinger in backcourt, now to Greg Werner. He's gonna work against Westerholm as he brings down the right wing. DePaulo, right baseline, step fake, looks inside, back to Werner, three-pointer on the way. Doesn't go, rebound loose, comes off to Seaside uh, Sigurdsson in the ball game. Right wing to Boyd, Boyd right side to Darnell. Darnell with the ball, moves top the key, goes right to Boyd. Boyd standing outside the three-point line as they go into a motion offense. Left to Darnell, working against the matchup zone. High post, turnaround hook shot by Smith. Doesn't go. Kenny Paula with the defensive board. Outlet almost picked off. Werner comes up with it. 
Warner, right baseline goes to Motzinger. Step fake, crossover to Kenny. Three-pointer on the way. Yes! Kenny Bowler from three and gives Kellebuck a 10-point lead. Kellebuck leads 30 to 20. 3.30 left here in the first half. Left side, Darnell with the ball after a nice try by uh, Paulo, but the shot missed. Offside board goes to Seaside Clark. Clark's whistled on the rebound shot. No, that's not Clark. That is Sigerson. 31, not 35. And Sigerson will go to the line to shoot two shots, I believe, off the rebound shot. Uh, Kenny Paula made a gallant attempt at midcourt on the steal. He missed it. Left baseline, Darnell pumped it up. He shot an air ball from there. And the offside board went to Sigerson, and he was fouled on the rebound shot, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. And Matt Groshant picks up his third foul of the night. We watch him storm to the bench. Not in the best of moods once again. Sigerson misses the first free throw. He'll get the second attempt as Matt has three fouls. Mark has two. And Eric Moore is going to be called in, called on to have some quality minutes here and some uh, big minutes in his senior year right here in Tillamook. The second shot is missed also. Motzinger saves the ball from going out of bounds and hands back to Eric Moore, and he gives it to Greg, and Greg walks it down the floor. Top of the key to Motzinger. Right side to Mark. Mark with the ball looking inside, baseline to Greg. Greg to Mark, standing outside the three-point line. Free throw extended right side. Reverse the ball, top of the key to Paulo. Inside pass to Greg. He throws it up. It's checked out of there. Comes up short. Sigerson with the ball to Darnell. Darnell down the middle of the floor. Goes left baseline to Boyd. Boyd, step fake. Kicks back to Sigerson. Top of the key to Medell. Three-pointer's going to go on the way from there. It doesn't go. Rebound off to Mark Rochong. Outlet to Greg. Greg's going to bring it down the middle of the floor. Goes free throw extended right side. Step fake, hands to Motzinger. Motzinger on the right wing, back to Werner, top of the key. Left side to Paulo. Paulo, step fake, look, jump run away from 18. Doesn't go. Oh, good looking shot, just wouldn't stay. Tillamook still leads by 10. Right wing with the ball. Seegerson kicks it out to Medell. Left side to Darnell. Darnell, left-handed dribble, looks right side, hands out to Medell, top of the key. Right side to Seegerson as they pass the ball around the perimeter. Good defense there in the 1-2-2 zone. Step fake inside, tight pressure by Boyd. Kicks it off, Medell drives it inside, forces it up. He says, no, no foul, and we're going the other way. Throws it out of bounds, serious contact down there as Medell going 40 miles an hour ran right over two Tillamook cheesemakers, and uh, no whistle, no foul, no harm, I guess. I hate to say it, but that guy really doesn't have a clue. And Tillamook gets the ball back. Motzinger, top of the key with the ball. Tillamook could use a bucket here to mark on the right wing. Kenny, top of the key, eyes from three. Looks inside for Greg on the cut. Goes to Eric Moore, right wing. Eric goes top of the key to Greg. Werner with the ball, right to Eric Moore. Right side to Motzinger. Motzinger, back out to Eric Moore, top of the key to Mark Brochong. Left side, good movement by the cheesemakers. If they can just break somebody loose inside. Minute 30 left here in the first half of play. Tillamook leads by 10. Eric Moore, top of the key, left to Dan Motzinger. Motzinger, baseline, throws it away. Looking for Kenny Polo on the cutter on the baseline, and it launched it into the left sideline, and Tillamook turns the ball over. Top of the key, all tipped away. Eric Moore almost comes up with it, but Starling finally comes up. He travels, no call. Goes left to Clark. Crossover step, drives, puts it up. Doesn't go. Starling rebound, puts it up. Whistle foul, Motzinger. Motzinger on the foul from behind, and to the line will go Christian Starling. Minute 13 left in the first half of play. Tillamook leads 30 to 20. Seaside has scored only seven points this entire period. I'm basically speechless as to what's going on out there at the court. This is probably the most physical ball game we've seen all season long. We went to Dallas. We expected a lot of pushing and shoving out there in that uh, particular league, but this is just ridiculous. Darling's free throw is no good. Uh, Seaside, after hitting their first six, has finally missed a couple, and he'll get the second attempt on the two-shot foul. Free throws in the air. It's good. Rattles hard, but finally falls. Tillamook's lead is cut to nine, 30 to 21, 112 left in the first half. Werner brings the ball down. Hoffert's been out for about three minutes now in this second period. Eric Moore, top of the key, goes right to Mark Rochon. Baseline right to Werner. Top of the key to Mark. Left sideline to Motzinger, right to Paulo. Step fake, baseline to Mark. Spin move, jumper on the way from five. Doesn't go. Motzinger off side board. He turns around, throws it up. Mark offensive board, puts it up, and in! It bounced four times on the rim, but finally fell, and Tillamook has its largest lead of the night. 
at 11. 32-21, Tillamook lead, 38 seconds left in the first half. Madow crossover steps, goes left side to Clark, to Madow, top of the key. Through his legs, dribble, goes left to Clark again. Clark, he has to get unleashed here in this period of play. Crossover inside Sterling, puts it up and in. Nice shot off the glass with 22 seconds left in the half. Tillman to look for the final shot of the half here as Motzinger brings the ball down against Medell. Spin moves top of the key, goes right to Werner with 12 seconds. Top of the key to Paulo, has the ball tipped away. Goes off Clark's hands out of bounds. Going to be Tillman's ball, half mark left with nine seconds left. Fantastic crowd on hand here. Now for both teams, as almost a full house here in Tillamook. Motzinger clear out at midcourt, crossover step. Three-pointer's going to go on the way. Doesn't go, not even close. Rebound comes off to Clark with two seconds left. Shuts it up from three. Yeah. Exactly like the period ended up in at Seaside as the Seaside Seagull. <laughs> play as Tillamook to bring the ball in, leading 32-25 to 25 here at halftime in the state seeding game between Tillamook and Seaside. Warner brings the ball down, goes Hopper top of the key. We'll see what Sean can do this second half as he had a slow first half for the Cheesemakers against that tight defense of Medell. Warner, baseline, kicks it out, Hoppert, three-pointer on the way, good. <laughs> Nothing but net for Sean Hopper as he picks up his 14th point. I say he had a, a, he had a slow first half. He had 11 points and Coach uh, Elliott extremely upset to Medow that time as he let Hopper go. Tillamook, Mark Rochon steals it on the other end. Goes to Hopper on the right wing. Going to drive baseline. Jumps it on the way. He's hacked and it falls and there's no foul. He was murdered on the right baseline. And he had a shot that was tough there. Tillamook leads by 12. Left baseline. Smith with the ball. Out of his area out there at 20 feet away from the bucket. Now he's going to get rid of it to Medow. Goes right side to Westerholm. Westerholm with the ball. Looks right. Looks inside to Smith. Goes to Smith. Spin move. Jumps it on the way. Checked out by Mark Rochon. Good defense that time by Matt. Not picking up the foul. And twin brother Mark came across and swatted it away. And Tillamook comes down with it. Left side to Matt. Matt out to Kenny Paul. A three-point line. Goes right to Greg. Left to Matt. 
Baseline to Paul. Baseline pass to Hopper. Spin move. Jumps it up and in. He just took it to the hole there against Starling. Says, get that weak stuff out of here, and we'll lead by 14, and they do. And Tillamook has its largest lead of the night. And he sure quieted down those Seaside fans have been booing them all night long. Hopper steals the ball on the inside, and Seaside fans are hanging their heads right now. End to end. Moves free throw line. Step fake. Jumps it on the way from 10. It doesn't go, but he's fouled. And Madow is going to take an early seat as Elliott is hot down on the bench. The head coach for the Seagulls as his defensive specialist, Madow, just got an offensive lesson from Sean Hoffert. Oh, an excellent job this uh, first start of the second half. As Sean Hoffert's come out and scored seven quick points. He picked up a steal. And he's just done an exceptional job so far. Sean Hoffert all of a sudden has 18 points here. He goes to the line to shoot two. Free throws up. It's short off front iron. No good. He'll get the second attempt. Yeah, Ryan, right. you see lots and lots of these hats that came out in the newspaper here this last week. An ingenious little hat. They kind of look like uh, cheese making hats when you get done with them and they say go cheese makers on the top have some advertising uh, a lot of those in bloom here tonight on top of the cheese maker fans Westerholm in backcourt brings across as Hoffert hits his second free throw Tillamook by 15 a long shot by Clark on the outside and it bounces up into the rafters of the brackets and Tillamook gets the ball back Werner on the right wing with the ball, walks across the timeline. Tillamook threatening to blow out the Seagulls right here in the second half. Pass inside, Mark Rojong, whistle foul, Starling. Tillamook has come out aggressive here in this second half, uh, mainly due to the play of Sean Hoffert, as he's just taken the ball to the hole and said, take this, and uh, play like that is tough to defend. All it takes is one leader. The rest of the team usually falls right along with them. Warner's going to drive inside, run, jump, scoop, bucket, goes! Oh, what a shot, and it fell. The Iceman coming. Greg Warner scoops to the hoop, an underhand scoop shot, and it fell, and Tillamook leads by 17. There's a whistle and timeout. Seaside wants timeout on the floor. Seaside Seagull fans have to be sitting on their hands right now as the Cheesemakers have blitzed them early here in a 10-0 scoring run so far this period to take a 42 to 25 lead over the Seagulls. 17 point lead, the largest of the night for the Cheesemakers. Right wing with the ball is Camberg. Camberg goes left to Westerholm, top of key to Clark. Clark's the guy that'll try to get him back in it if he can touch the ball. Camberg drives baseline, jumps it up and in. Found the lane and put it up and in. He gets two points and Tillamook brings the ball down. Camberg's assigned to Hoppert now as he mirrors him all the way down the floor. Werner right side to Polo. Camberg hanging all over him. Werner steps fake, goes right side to Polo again. He moves it back out, top of the key to Werner. Werner can't get it to Hoppert. Goes right side, jump around away from 15. Flat, no good, rebound. <laughs> Werner feeds to Hoppert, lay in two. Great play by Greg Werner. Shaw is sitting under the board as he's gone for the offensive board, but it came right back to Greg. He touched past a one-touch pass if it were soccer. Right to Sean, and Sean tipped it up and in. Tillamook leads by 17. Starling inside, turn around, puts it up and in, and Tillamook's lead is cut to 15. Offer right to left across the timeline, goes right wing, Clark on him. Step fake, baseline pass, Matt Lay-in doesn't go, but he's fouled. Great pass by Sean Hoffert as Matt Groshong broke down the baseline on the back door, picked up the shot, spun around to put it in, but right there was Jared Boyd, and Boyd picks up the foul. He picks up his third personal foul, and he'll come out of the ball game as Matt Groshong goes to the line. Greg Werner with five points tonight. Sean Hoppert selected 21 so far and 10 points here in three and a half minutes of play of the second half. Matt hits his uh, first free throw. He's got three points on the night. He can get four here on the second attempt. It's in the air. Hard off the back iron, no good. Rebound out to Smith. He re releases right to Camberg. Camberg double team, Mark and Greg. Goes baseline to Clark. Three point set shot on the way. Doesn't go. Hopper with the board. Hopper's going to push the ball down the middle of the floor. Reach right side. Step fake. Fake. Jumps it on the way. It goes. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Tell you what, you're seeing one of the finest guards in the state of the Oregon as Sean Hoffert goes to work in a 47 to 29 Tillamook lead and Greg No make that Mark Rochon whistles for the foul. Matt Clark ran into his knee and took the dive and 
Mark picked up the fouls. I believe that's foul number three, and it is. It looked like a fairly cheap call from where we're sitting, but Mark really didn't have any complaints about it. So he must have got him with something. He must have got the knee out there with him because he picked up his third personal foul. Matt and Mark each have three. Clark on the left baseline with the ball. Outlet left, goes top of the key, now to Westerholm. Westerholm holds the ball. Lob pass left, goes to Clark. Going to step drive, baseline, jumps it on the way. Whistle foul, and they got him that time as Greg Werner trying to come across and check the shot. Got a little bit of arm and a little bit of ball into the line will go Matt Clark. Clark, an excellent athlete for the Seaside Seagulls, really taken over this year where Bill Westerholm was expected to get things done. Clark is a junior this year in football, a star in the backfield, also a star in the basketball team, and an excellent first baseman and pitcher in the baseball season. So an all-around quality athlete, and he's still got a year left. Seven out of seven from the line so far. He's got 12 points on the night. Van Halstead leading tears again on the far side. A great student section again. The best student section we've seen here in 15 years that Coach Lamb's been here. Werner right wing, two-pointer on the way. Good. He had a toe on the line. It should have been or could have been three, but it was only two with a toe on the line. And Tillamook's lead is 18. Right side, Camberg, crossover drive. Kicks it out to Clark. He eyes from 28 feet. Goes left to Westerholm. Lob pass inside to Smith. Puts it on the ground. Turn around. Oh, whistle and a foul. Who are they going to call that one on? Well, one official pointed at Matt, who had an excellent defensive position inside. And it looks like Greg Werner picked it up on the outside with a reach. But uh, either better, way, it a better call really than clean. Matt inside. But uh, tough call there. It's Greg, to where did you pull that one out of? And two line will go Smith. Smith, when he gets the ball at that low post, is surrounded by four people. Tillamook will see some quality uh, big men at the state tournament, and that's probably the biggest worry of Coach Lamb is the big men that they face. Smith misses the free throw. He'll get the second attempt. It's in the air. It's good, and Tillamook's lead is 49-32. to Poffert, backcourt, going to bring it across, or hold it up in backcourt. Feeds bounce pass right to Warner across the timeline. Warner, hash mark right, moves to the top of the key, goes left to Matt Groshon, 20 feet away from the bucket. Cross-court pass intended for followed, but picked up by Moore. Right to uh, Werner, three-pointer, good. That shot, and he had the rhythm going there. He touched it, spun, put it down, and Tillamook lead is to 20. 20-point 20 lead for the Tillamook Cheesemakers, 52 to 32. Three minutes left here in the third period. Camberg, high post to Smith, kicks it out to Westerholm. Westerholm, top of the key, goes right to Camberg. Hamburg looks, going to drive baseline all the way, lays it up off the bottom of the iron. Moore with a rebound. Out left to Hopper. Hopper going to go down the left sideline, step fake against Starling. He's going to fake, fake, going to drive inside. He's whistled. Hack going to be on Starling. Starling threw a knee to him. Hopper went to the ground. And the, the fourth team foul, I believe, on the Seagulls and tell them to get the ball out underneath their own bucket. Seaside's come out this second half and just has to play the same enthusiasm whatsoever. They're playing like a defeated ball club right now. Well, they came out and Sean Hopper just took it to them and they've, uh, they, like you say, have played like they know they've been defeated now. Top of the key, Warner with the ball. Left to Paulo. Paulo, three-point line, eyes. Tight defense there by Clark. Kicks it out to Matt. Clear up the midcourt circle. Right to Greg Warner. Three-pointer on the way again. No, Hopper rebound. Fakes, puts it up. Whistle hack. Going to go on Smith. Kenny Paulo got an elbow on the eye and he goes to the floor, but he's all right. As uh, I think Hofford, it looks like the nose now. I think Hofford actually got him after the pack down there by Smith. Smith picks up his second personal foul and to the line will go Sean Hofford. In all fairness to Greg Werner, it looked like his last three point attempt was blocked. Sean's been to the line naked six times. He's just four out of six. The weakness we can see at all out of Sean Hoffert this season must be his free throw shooting. Don't As he bags the first one. Yeah, don't know what he's shooting out there, but he sure missed an awful lot of over the season, it seems like. Tell him the largest lead of the night by 21, 53 to 32 lead over the Seagulls. Yeah. Second free throw is good. Also, it's Tell him trying to avenge their one loss of the season and say, hey, that's a fluke. Let's get to some real basketball as they lead by 22. And yeah, Sean picks up 25 points on the night with those two free throws. Top of the key with the ball is Darnell. It goes right to Westerholm. Westerholm, long cross court to Darnell. Top of the key to Clark. Set shot on the way from there. Doesn't go. Rebound. Hoffert. Nice board by Sean. Sean with the ball in backcourt. Going to bring it down the floor. Working against Darnell. Going to fake drive. Fast baseline pass left. Tipped out of bounds by Smith on a nice attempt. Going for Matt. And tell him up to bring the ball in. Kenny Polo on the left wing. Brings the ball into Hoffert. Step fake, jumps it on the way. Doesn't go. Rebound comes off to Smith. 
Smith. Has the ball right to Westerholm. Brings it down the middle of the floor, top of the key. Lob pass right to Darnell. Left-handed move. Fake jumps it on the way from there. It doesn't go. A rebound to Werner. Good defense and good hustle by Greg Werner. Outlet to Hoffert. Hoffert middle of the floor. Baseline Matt. Jumper from 10. Doesn't go. Rebound loose. Polo. Baseline to Hoffert. Step fake. Turn around jumper. Doesn't go. Rebound Clark. Hoffert hacks good on the baseline right and uh, gives some lip service to the black and white. Clark spin move. Jumps it up from 10. It doesn't go. Rebound Smith inside. Whistle foul. Going to be on, it looks, looks like, like Hoffert. Sean Hoffert, I believe, picked up a cheap call there on the rebound. Apparently on the push on the far side, he couldn't really see it from here, and Hoffert does pick up the foul. That is foul number three for Sean. That's okay. To yeah. the line, we'll see who goes there. As they're not really sure who they even fouled. Nobody really wants to, well, I guess there's no reason to step there now as we say we'll bring the ball inbound. Darling throws it up, whistle foul, Matt Groshong. I don't know what Mac could do in that situation as he had Starling pinned under the glass, stood flat on the floor, arms straight in the air. Starling took it to him and picked up the foul. Matt picks up foul number four and back into the ballgame comes Mark, something that the Twins have not had a lot of trouble with this year uh, other than on select circumstances is fouled. And uh, Matt sits down again as he's spent lots of time sitting on the pines down there tonight. Uh, waiting for his foul trouble to go away. Starling goes to the line, free throws on the way. No good. Uh, Brink off the back iron, and he'll get the second attempt. He gets the ball from the black and white as he dribbles low, toes the line, eyes. It's on the way. No good. Way short. Rebound comes all the way out to midcourt to Starling after it was tipped by two uh, Tillamook and a seaside player. Westerholm, top of the key, goes left side. Motzinger's back into the ball game as is Eric Moore. Baseline to Starling, uh, loses, tips it out to Darnell. Darnell goes across the timeline after it is tipped by Tillamook and picks up the ball. Top of the key to Westerholm. Westerholm been almost non-existent tonight for the Seagulls. Right side to Clark. Clark, top of the key to Westerholm. Westerholm's going to fake, drives inside, throws it up, blasts it out of there by Moore, but the rebound comes off to Starling. Starling goes up with it. He has the ball tipped and checked there by Mark Rochon. And the whistle, we're going to call a jump ball in the alternating possession with 46 seconds left in the third period. We'll go to the Seaside Seagulls. Out of the ball game comes Starling. Back into the ball game comes Boyd. Also out of the ball game comes Sean Hoffert. As into the ball game comes Greg Werner. Long cross court pass. Werner whistle foul. Werner didn't see Darnell behind him. Moved to the ball, went up, ran right into to Darnell, and Darnell would go to the line to shoot one and one. Uh, Darnell casually passes the ball to the official while the official to midcourt just about falls down there at midcourt. That would have made a nice finish to the end of the season here at home. <laughs> Darnell goes to the line to shoot the one and one. Tillamook leads by 22, 54 to 32, 42 seconds left in the first or the third period. Shots no good. Boyd gets the rebound, puts it up. Mark blasts it out of there, and Greg comes down with the board. Craig with the ball in backcourt, feeds right to Paulo, going to high from three. I thought he'd do it inside, kicks it out to Greg, right to Paulo with 28 seconds left, and they'll take the final shot of the period. Paulo on the right wing with a 22-point lead. Dribbles left-handed, top of the key, out to the midcourt, circle goes Motzinger. Big push off there with a the left hand, lucky to get by with that one. Back to Warner with 15. Right to Mark. Craig says rotate, let's move, get some motion in the offense. Craig to Mark. Mark whistle foul out top to Darnell. Darnell gets the hack and two line. We'll go Dan Motzinger with eight seconds left in the third period of play as he'll go to the line to shoot one and one. Not a real bright foul by Darnell as Motzinger's way on top of the key area. But hey, we'll take it. Take anything we can get. And Tillamook with a 22-point lead, enjoying every minute of it here, playing the state seeding game in Tillamook. Motzinger's first free throw is good. Tillamook leads 55 to 32, a 23-point lead for the Cheesemakers. Motzinger eyes for a second attempt. Shots on the way. And good also until its lead is 24. Darnell in backcourt to Westerholm. Look for Clark wherever he is. Westerholm tipped away. He throws it up from three. It doesn't go, and that's the end of the period. Tillamook leads at 56 to 32. Finally, just 74.85. That screw extractor kit that removes broken studs. Set screw pipe and alamite fittings, just 9.90. And finally, a Torx bit set is priced at 17.69. This from all action. The Cheesemakers lead 56 to 32 over the Seaside Seagulls here to start the final period of play. Follow with the ball on the left wing, goes right side to Moore. 
Moore with the ball reverses left to Werner. Good motion. Step fake. Looks. Crossover. Tips right to the Motzinger. Baseline to Mark. Back out to Motzinger. Free throw extended right side. Motzinger goes cross court to Eric Moore. He looks inside. Hands back to Greg. And some motion offense again by the cheesemakers. Moore on the left wing. Find Motzinger inside. Turn around. Jump shot. Jack Moore. Rebound. Puts it up. Doesn't go. Rebound comes off to Smith. Smith brings the ball down the floor. Left to Clark. And a step drive. Fakes. Fakes. Triple team kicks it out to Medow. Right side to Darnell. Three-point set shot on the way. No good. Rebound in to Smith. Lays it up and in. Smith, a nice board on the inside. Picks up two and Tony Fleet has got the 22. Warner in backcourt. Going to bring the ball down by himself on a nice play. Feeds left to Moore. Has the ball tipped away. Mark uh, has the ball tipped away as Rochon picked it up. But Darnell threw it out of bounds. And Tony to get it out on the baseline left. 7.06 left in this ball game. The last chance for the cheesemakers here in Tillamook as they lead 56 to 32. Baseline to Mark. Spin move. Left-handed jump. Get goes. Pretty shot by the sophomore on the inside. A crossover step and a left-handed jump hook. And Tillamook leads by 24. But now top of the key. It doesn't go. Polo. Offside rebound as the ball tipped out of bounds by Smith and tell them if we'll get it back. The Reuters sections have really gone at it tonight as the uh, Cheesemakers and the Seagulls back and forth. Uh, they'll be teammates when they get down to the state tournament without a doubt as you always pull for the Quapa League team. Mark out to Paulo, three-pointer. Yes! Kenny Paulo hits from three and tell them it's going to blow Seaside right out of the gymnasium. Tillamook leads 61 to 34. Darnell left side to Medow drives it up. It doesn't go. Rebound. Greg Werner. Werner with the ball dribbles left. He's hacked twice. Hacked three times. Get him off. Hacked again, and a jump ball is called. <laughs> We better save all editorial comment on that one as Warner absolutely destroyed and molested in backcourt and the alternating possession on the jump ball is going to go to Seaside. And I tell you what, that was a workover job like we haven't seen all year. Seaside on the left wing. With the ball, Clark. There, there goes the sportsmanship award. <laughs> Clark with the ball, top of the key. High dribble, kicks right to Medow. Medow moves it out to Clark. Gonna look, look, looks inside. Cross court pass to Darnell. Darnell with the ball. Moves top of the key. Lob pass left to Smith. Kicks it inside. Blasted out of there by Moore and Hopper. Back into the ball game, picks it up. Hoffert, baseline pass to Motzinger, pick and carry, drives it up, it's picked out of there. Now a whistle and a foul, and this game's gotten out of control. With the foul will be Jared Boyd. Boyd will pick up the foul, and now there's a technical foul. That looks like Ray Glenn was and a little bit of lip service, but this is the same official just blew that last call. They really doesn't know what's going on out there on the court. Uh, the official feels like uh, Greg threw the ball at him. Greg just tossed the ball at him, and the guy whistled a tee. Greg picks up the technical foul, and uh, he's going to have to shoot the one-on-one -on -one also. And then we'll walk to the other end, and Seaside will have the technical foul attempt. What happened was the official wasn't looking. Greg tossed the ball to him. It hit him. He spun around and threw the tee at Greg, and... And like I said, the ball game's out of control. That's just a matter of losing your composure as an official. He really didn't see what the situation was. A lot of composure there by Greg as he banks that one down and Tillamook's lead is 28. Tillamook leads 62 to 34 and it's become a laughing matter here in the final period in Tillamook. 63 to 34, Tillamook leads over the Seaside Seagulls. This was a ball game not too long ago. Tillamook led 32 to 25 at halftime. There has been nine points scored by the Seagulls in the entire second half. Make that 10 as Clark gets first to the technical foul, the two shot free throw. The first one win, he gets the second one. It's good also. And Tillamook's lead is 63 to 36. Matt Clark can shoot free throws as he's 10 out of 10 from the line right now with 15 points. Greg Werner has 12 points on the other end of the floor. Tillamook has scored 31 points here in the second half of play as opposed to 11 now for the Seagulls. Warner picks the ball off, feeds back to Hoffert, lands. Oh! 
that's as loud as this gym has been in years as a fantastic play by Greg Werner to Sean Hoffert. And there's two franchises there who deserve every bit of applause they've gotten. Madow on the left wing. Clark, an NBA three-pointer. Mark with the rebound. Out to Hoffert on the back side. Hoffert's going to walk the ball down. Sean Hoffert with 27 points in the ball game. Hoffert, left side to Motzinger with the ball. Motzinger to Moore. Moore with the ball, left side to Warner. Step fake and a drive, kicks it off to Motzinger. He's going to look, feeds top to Moore. Moore to Greg, baseline to Sean, going to drive inside, puts it up and in. Sean Hoffert and the Seaside fans have frowns on their faces as the very guy that they spent two days, their two ball games booing, has absolutely destroyed the blue and red of the Seaside Seagulls. Sean Hoffert, 29 points, and he's done so much more than that. Madow gets stopped good on the left baseline by Moore, and he hits the three-pointer, and Madow will go to the line with the attempt to make a four-point play here after the three-pointer and a foul. Greg Warner checks out of the ball game probably for the last time this year in Tillamook, and he gets a full house standing ovation, and he absolutely deserves it. Greg goes to the bench with 12 points. He picked up four steals. He blocked one shot. Five rebounds, three personal fouls, and nine assists. Fantastic ball game for Greg Warner. Greg uh, disappointed in the second meeting between these two teams as he couldn't get his shot to fall down the stretch. Madow misses the free throw. Seaside gets the rebound, puts it up, and uh, Mark is going to be whistled for the foul. That'll be number four on him, and Smith will go to the line. Uh, Warner a little bit disappointed in the loss in Seaside as he picked up uh, a less than than good ball game up there and definitely came back and made up for it tonight here in Telemark. Smith misses the free throw. Uh, Suit Sex is getting into things on the far side now with their red, red bandanas and hankies over there. They're waving. Eric Moore comes out of the ball game again. A rousing ovation. Matt Groshon comes in. It's Matt and Mark, Sean Hoffert, uh, Dan Motsinger, and Jason Gerard. Smith's second free throw is good at 67 to 40, a 27 point lead for the Cheesemakers. Hoffert's going to step fake, looks inside, kicks back to Motsinger, goes top of the key to Gerard. Nice catch there by Jason, left side to Matt. Matt, as Hoffert's posted up low, is getting pushed all over by Clark. Right side, Greg on the way. No, make that mark, and he hits it just inside the three point land. And Tillamook's lead is 29. Madow across the timeline, goes baseline, kicks it inside, almost throws it away, but Boyd comes up with it and banks it down. Matt in backcourt goes to Gerard, right baseline to Motzinger. Back to Gerard, left side to Matt. Matt to Hoffert, top of the key. Looks, looks, goes left side to Matt. Matt with the ball, goes top of the key to Motzinger. Hoffert with the ball, as any cheesemaker this year scored 30. I think 27 or 28 was the most by Sean. Left side, Mark pulled it up. He couldn't hit it. Seaside comes down with the ball. Hoffert with 29 right now. Needs another bucket to go over the 30 mark. Shot uh, missed, but the rebound put up and in by Boyd. And Seaside crawls back to within 25. Three and a half minutes left. Hoffert baseline to baseline. Puts it up and in. McDowell, they call it an offensive foul. They'll wave that bucket off. And Hoffert on his 31 31st point of the game has it canceled and pulled right back out of the bucket on the offensive foul. Out of the ball game comes Mark Rochong. Into the ball game goes Doug Fang. They'll take the bucket away from Hoffert. He would add 31 with that one, but he's whistled with the offensive foul. That's his fourth personal foul, and this is final home game as a Telemach cheesemaker. But now on the left wing, what a fitting finish for Sean Hoffert. Uh, Undoubtedly one of the best guards ever to play ball here in Tillamook. Three-pointer missed by Clark, but Seaside with the offensive board. Ball goes up again, and Sigurdsson comes up with it. Left baseline, spin move inside by Boyd. Whistle traveling. Seaside turns the ball over only for the second time this period, but the 14th time of the ball game. Hoffert in backcourt. Tillamook leads by 25. Under three minutes left to play. Hoffert, left side to Fink. Bank looks, cross-court pass to Matt. To Hopper, right baseline, three-pointer on the way. Doesn't go, rebound. Comes off, loose. Seaside comes up with it. Tipped in backcourt. Whistle, Smith. No, they're going to say Motzinger gets called with the foul. Smith came down swinging some elbows, and Motzinger was too close. Picked up an elbow and a foul at the same time. And Tillamook uh, 
has Seaside walking to the other end to shoot free throw. Smith going to the line as Motzinger picks up foul number three. 242 left in the ball game. Tillman leads 69 to 44. I think Coach Bob Lamb is looking for Sean to pick up his 30th points as Steve Dutton just checked in and then sat back down as soon as Sean missed that three point attempt. Seaside gets the offensive rebound, puts it back up and in, and Tillamook's lead is 23. Gerard hacked at midcourt by Clark, feeds the baseline to Motzinger, and he finally gets the call at the free throw line. He hacked him for 15 feet and finally picked up the call, and Gerard will go to the line to shoot one-on-one. -on -one. To the line, Jason Gerard, as Tillamook leads 69 to 46, two minutes and 31 seconds left in the ball game. The Tillamook Cheesemakers will be the number one seed out of the Coapa League to play at the state tournament. And they'll open the state tournament in Eugene on Tuesday at 1.30 in the afternoon. Free throws miss. Hoffert with the offensive board. He brings the ball out right baseline. Tight defense there. Goes to Fink. Fink loses the ball out of his hands. It goes out of bounds. And into the ball game will come Steve Dutton. He'll replace Matt Crochon. Uh, Matt kind of shakes his head, smiles as he goes to the bench. Those sophomores did so much for this team this season. Matt, again, with a rousing ovation here by the Cheesemaker fans, and fittingly so, as the Cheesemakers lead at 69-46. to Tell them it could be 20-1 and after this ball game, and that's absolutely an amazing... Welcome back to Tillamook High School and Cheesemaker Basketball. The Cheesemakers lead at 69 to 46 here. 223 left in the ball game. That's the lineup for the Cheesemakers. John Hoffert's the mainstay. He's still out there. He has 29 points. Also Dan Motzinger, Steve Dutton, uh, Doug Spink, and Jason Gerard. Tillamook will play the first game of the state tournament at 1.30 against either LaSalle or Gladstone, the loser of that ball game tonight. Medal three-pointer left wing doesn't go. Hoffert with the offside board. Hoffert double teamed in backcourt, goes right to Fink. Fink dribbles it across the timeline. He's going to be triple teamed. Baseline to Motzinger. Motzinger bounce pass through Dutton's leg, picked off there by Westerholm. Whistle foul is going to be on Motzinger. And here comes Sean Hoffert out of the ball game. This will be his last appearance as a Tillamook High School senior. Senior. No, uh, wrong guess as Motzinger comes out, and we'll leave Sean in there just a little bit longer. I tell you what, Sean deserves every bit of praise he's gotten as he has handled the pressure unbelievably well this year as it was pressure for senior guard Sean Hoffert because he was the guy that the Cheesemakers relied on and it's on his back that the Cheesemakers are 20 wins and one loss on the season and the number one seed to the Coapa League for the state AA tournament. Actually, you could probably go back about six or seven years ago when Big Brother Steve was playing. You know, that puts an awful lot of pressure on younger brother and Sean's had to live up with that. And he has done it so very well. Gerard in backcourt after the two made free throws, 69-48. Goes to Hoffert, cross the timeline to Doug Fink. Baseline to Dutt. Dutt back to Fink. Top of the key has it tipped away. Going to drive baseline. Fake, fake. Crossover, throws it up and in. Camberg gets the shot. In backcourt, Tillamook has its lead cut to 19. Fink in backcourt. Dribble still to backcourt. Across the timeline to Hoffert. Hoffert, midcourt, goes right side to Gerard. Gerard back to Fink. Fink, step fake, back to Gerard. Minute 29 left. Fink with the ball on the right wing. Looks, looks. Going to hand to Hopper. Hopper, tight defense there. Goes to Fink, top of the key. Left side to Gerard. Travels, no call. Now there's the call. As a uh, little off on the time jump there as he took the side straddle hop and uh, threw it in the air, but the traveling was called before. A uh, full house on the hand here tonight for the final home game of the number three ranked team in the state, 20-1, Tillamook Cheesemakers. Westerholm on the right wing, 19-point lead, throws it up from three. It's not going to go. Rebound loose, comes off to Camberg. Camberg kicks it out. Medal throws it up from three, and he hits it. It goes all the way around the rim, but finally falls, and the lead is cut to 16. Again, the Cheesemakers letting it be respectable in uh, this ball game, just as they did in the first outing between these two teams. And Selvick led by 25 and then ended up winning by about 12. Uh, Fink has it tipped away. Ball comes back to him, fakes, fakes, throws it up, doesn't get it. Whistle foul is going to be on either Smith or Clark. Either way, Fink will go to the line, shoot two. It'll be on Smith and at Clark, 45. Check that again. Smith. <laughs> That's Sorry. what I thought. Jones. <laughs> Whoever it's on, you don't Number care. And we don't care because the Cheesemakers are going to win this ball game. 40 seconds left. And 
platoon number two, uh, all five of the players that have not been into the ball game for the Seaside Seagulls now check in as Seaside, given this ball game away, with 40 seconds left in the 16-point deficit to the Tillamook Cheesemakers. Sean Hopper comes out of the ball game, and I tell you what, I've got to stand up for this one as Sean had a fantastic year and a 69 to 53 win. Checks out of the ball game with 29 points on the night for Sean. Bank goes to the line. He hits his first free throw, gets on the board, and his first shot of the night. Tillamook's lead is up to 17 again. Yeah, you got to feel for the Seaside kids getting blown out like this in the game before the state tournament. But for the Seaside fans, I'm enjoying every last second of it. You don't feel one bit for them after the stuff they pulled, especially on Sean Hopper up there and then again here tonight for a short time, although they didn't have much chance to do it because it's tough to boo a guy that's scoring 30 points on you. That shot at the top of the key by a no-name on our list. 15. Uh, number 15, we'll call him 15, as he hits the three-pointer that steals the backcourt pass. That shot on the way from three there by Bazell. He hits it. Whistle and a foul is going to be no. Uh, whistle and a traveling with 14 seconds left. Just giving Seaside something to cheer about as it will make no difference. Still a 12-point lead with 14 seconds left. Bazell to bring the ball in, goes to no-name 15, right side back to Bazell, looks, fakes, fakes, back to 15, high post inside, spin move, jumps it up, it goes, and he's fouled. John Collier on the middle, hits the turnaround jumper, and he'll go to the line to shoot one with eight seconds left, and a 10-point lead for the Cheesemakers. Again, it's just going to make it respectable, as the Cheesemakers have every right to consider this a blowout as it was a blowout. Well, you have to consider who Bob Lamb played to Central High School with tomorrow night, too. Free throw's good at the nine-point lead. You're right, as Elliott Elliot. gets some favors here. Fink in backcourt, hands back to Motzinger with three seconds left. Whistle, he's fouled. He throws it up from three, and we're going to shoot free throws here before this season's over in the Telemix Gymnasium. Again, the Cheesemakers travel to Eugene a week from tomorrow at 1.30 in the afternoon to play the number two team out of the LaSalle-Gladstone game, which was played tonight in Gladstone. A tight ball game there, and we'll talk more to Coach Bob Lamb after the ball game about their next game. The free throws missed, ball's in the air, Fink comes down with a rebound, and that's the end of the ball game. The Tillamook Cheesemakers win it. 71 to 62 in the state seeding game, and it wasn't anywhere close to that as Tillamook led by 27 halfway through the final period of play.